I get an email saying, Ida, we gave you the wrong boots. What is good guys, it's Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna talk to you all about how I ended up making James Madison a pair of football boots that he wore on Boxing Day against Man United and trust me guys, those boots cause quite a bit of a stir. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post. So I think it might have been about the end of November or beginning of December, I got an email from ProDirect basically asking if I want to collaborate and make a pair of football boots for James Madison. And how that whole ProDirect connection kind of came about is because, I don't know if you guys follow me over on Instagram, but if you don't <laughs> do, I'll put it. I'll put it right there. Around the time that FIFA 21 came out, I did a Instagram Live for EA Sports in the Pro Direct store where I customised some trainers live and Chunks and Philly were basically hosting it and then they would ask the people, so there was like different footballers, different influencers on there. They would ask them what design they want and then I was there painting it. And obviously I built connection with Pro Direct there from working with EA Sports. And then they asked me to come back and create a pair for James Madison. It ended up being me going down to the Pro Direct store in London and filming with Philly, just Philly this time, and we did a Zoom call with James Madison. So in that Zoom call, James basically talks about what he wants done to the boots. These are the actual boots. These are the Puma Future 6.1 Net Fit. <laughs> this exact pair smells like bleach because I'll, I'll tell you the story why this smells like bleach. In the Zoom, James basically told me that he wanted the boot all white. And when I saw that, I said, because hmm? I already know how hard it is to paint on these shoes because they sent me a pair to practice on. I was like, okay, sure. He's like, yeah, all white. I want it to be colourful. I want it this colour to represent the teams that I played for. And I was like, yeah, James, yeah. So they're writing things down. I was doodling on my iPad. I was just having ideas and I was showing him whatever, whatever. So then the Zoom call ended. By the way, I must say, James is a really, really, really nice guy. Like when I saw Philly that day, he was like, Ida, James Madison is one of the nicest guys you can ever meet. And he, he wasn't lying, like, James was like, yeah, I want you to put on something to represent Philly on there. And then Philly was like, well, you have to put something to represent Chunks on there. He's like, yeah, put something to represent Chunks and Afro Kicks. So I was like, thank you very much because there's not many people that would say, yeah, I want to rep other people on my stuff that is going to be seen by the whole of England, basically, and across the world. So for that, James, I am grateful for you. The plan actually, after filming that Zoom, was to then go to his house and like go around his house, see his house, see his shoe collection and give him the boots. But <sighs> tier four came into play and we couldn't do all of that. So I had about a week or so to get the design approved by Puma and then to start customizing the shoes. In the design, I was like, you know what? Let's just throw on some denim because why not? I've got a sewing machine. I want to showcase the fact that I can sew. Let's throw on some denim onto the boot. It was going to be white denim, but when I went to the shop to look for some white denim, I couldn't find any. So I ended up buying these recycled pair of um, jeans, just blue denim jeans and cutting them up, sewing them onto the shoes. And there were gonna be more, like I've got, basically what I ended up doing is this, cutting it, sewing a strip on, and it was, the plan was to make it like go around like this, but my sewing machine could not do it. So I had to like fix up the design and just stop there. And I also put a strip here, which I think was pretty cool. Now, when it came to making the boot white, that was my major issue. I tried obviously painting it, but the problem with that is that the texture changed because you need a lot and lot and lot of paint. And this is a fly knit boot, so you still want to have that soft texture to it. But adding all that paint, trying to make this black boot white was a mission because obviously with fly knit, as soon as you put paint on it, it kind of just soaks into it. I used to just keep building it and building it and building it. And one of my friends said, you know what, I had to try bleaching the boot. And that's why that boot smells like bleach. Because I tried and I tried. I put a whole heap of bleach. I bought a whole new bottle of bleach and used that. Nothing happened. It did not change one, one bit. We go up to Nottingham to give him the boot. Me, Chunks and Philly on the train going to Nottingham to give him the boot. You know what's mad about being with Chunks and Philly is how much they get recognised. Like, I'll be walking beside them or behind them and then you can hear people whispering, is that Chunks? Is that Philly? Is that Chunks? 
it's actually and then i come up to him like oh can i have a picture please yeah it's really mad i don't know if i ever want to be recognized like that <laughs> i'm happy with you know just going to sneaker events people are like oh is that afro kicks i'm like yeah like do you want to get a picture yeah cool that's i'm i'm happy with that but the walking around on normal road and people stopping and asking you for pictures and saying like whispering your name but i'll get paranoid i cannot lie we get to nottingham get a cab to a football pitch where we're going to be shooting pro direct give me clothes so i'm happy like the first shoot they gave me some clothes i was like yes i get some freebies a whole outfit um so i rocked that in the first shoot and then the second shoot again they gave me a new hoodie to wear for the video so i wore everything they gave me and then um yeah so we met james and james was really nice his I don't know if you call him his manager or the guy that like looks after him on a day-to-day -day or whatever he is to him he was really really nice like originally i thought he worked for puma and i was like okay these people are cool but then i learned that no it was actually james's james's guy i don't know what to call him we're just chilling talking in the locker room um and then we went to go shoot the actual drop so james didn't see the boot but everyone else saw the boot and um yeah so we go and sit down they give me a case with the boots in them and then one of the the director guys come up to me he's like okay keep the case like this when he opens it from what i understood yeah he was like when he opens it don't let him take out the box because we don't want we want it to be all padded something something to do with they wanted the inside of the box not to be seen so i was like okay cool in my mind i was thinking he has to open the box open the shoe box inside and take the shoes out of the box and don't want to see the puma box so in the video if you watch the video of me giving it to him I, I haven't watched it i can't lie i've watched bits and pieces but it's too embarrassing for me to watch but i'm sure in the video there's a point where he opens the box he goes to grab it i'm like i go to like stop him from grabbing the box and then he looks at me and i just let it go thinking are they gonna tell him not to grab the box or are they gonna say cut or anything they didn't say anything so i was like oh that's awkward so then he took the box then he opened it, the reaction was filmed, blah, blah, blah. That is exactly how I ended up making James Madison a pair of football boots. We had finished the shoot quite quickly. Then they filmed a few videos by themselves. So I was like watching and just laughing behind the scenes because it was hilarious watching them three film videos together. And then they went to the football pitch and they filmed another video with him and some other stuff. And yeah, it was a really cool experience just being around that just seeing how it works and then obviously it's a football pitch there was a team there like a younger team and they were so excited to see James Madison and Chunks and Philly and I was there taking pictures for people that's what happened to me and no one knew who I was but I'm sure when they saw the boots they were thinking ah it must have been that girl I gave him the shoes on the Friday the football match is on Boxing Day so which is the Saturday after I get an email saying Ida we gave you the wrong boots. We gave you a firm ground pair of football boots and we need soft ground pair to, for him to play in. I was like, wow, okay, so what, what are you telling me? Bearing in mind, these times I was house sitting at my parents' house, so I didn't have any of my equipment with me. So I had to keep coming back here to use a sewing machine, to use my stencil cutter, like everything. So it was like, okay, so what does this mean? So bear in mind, this whole collaboration, I was making Jade Madison a pair and four other pairs for giveaways, which will be coming soon. That is why I have pairs here right now. So they're like, yeah, so basically you have like three days to redo these boots and also working on orders that I had to get out so that they could get to people before Christmas. So it was like, rah, I have to do this all over again. And... <laughs> that's mad but I did I managed to do it all over again and they came like a courier came and collected the boots and that's the boots that he actually wore on the pitch but thankfully I had to do that because I learned a lot from the first process and I knew how to do it quicker and I knew what kind of products to use to help them but I had known that these boots were not going to stay 100% painted because of the material like the fly knit cool that bit shouldn't crack off but this back bit here it's more of a I don't even know what this texture is but it, it's like plasticky. And also here, this is like a, a thin coat of plastic. I don't know if you can see it here. This right here is like a thin coat of plastic and I knew that the paint was going to eventually, I was so scared. And also he wanted this painted. I painted it, 
but I knew that was going to crack off as well. I was like so scared watching him when he went onto the pitch and like he was playing and he was kicking balls. I was thinking, oh my God, if they get any shots of this, it's not going to have any paint on it. Oh my gosh, what's it going to look like? But when the match was over and pictures started coming out of the boots and they were looking decent and I was seeing like it being posted all over the place. People were posting it. Big companies were posting it and not tagging me. <laughs> Even though they knew, they put my, they'll put my government name on there. Like why, why? I guess what because I'm not working for you. you don't know you don't know, shout me out. You don't want me to get your followers. What? But um, a lot of people were sharing it all over the place. I went on Twitter and I was like, I'm not even gonna read the comments because the, the comments that I did see were like older male football fans who were not having it, and they were just cussing it and cussing James for wearing it. And I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna read the comments. I'm just gonna take the pictures that they've posted and keep them for myself. Um, but other people are really nice about it and I've got a lot of messages of people asking me to make them a pair and to make them football boots and I've kind of like now just been thrown into the football boot um, scene where I didn't plan on getting in there but I got in there and yeah so I'm not going to make these boots anymore I'm making three so there's like four pairs there's going to be four pairs I believe they might give away all of them but those are going to go to some lucky people out there and yeah, it was a really good experience. Hopefully there'll be more collaborations that I can do and share. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.